Hello and welcome. In this video, I will explain you how you can write an RTL code which implement a full adder using 2 cross 1 multiples. So, how to implement full adder and full subtractor using 2 cross 1 multiplexer? I have explained in my one video. I will put the link of that video in the description. So, before proceeding to this concept, RTL concept, first, if you see that video, if you watch that video, then it will be good for you. You can understand the concept first and then try to implement the hardware or the RTL for that. Okay. So, I am not going to explain this concept. This uh, image I have taken from the video in which I have explained how you can uh, implement a full adder and full subtractor using 2 cross 1 multiples. I am just uh, um, little modifying this and then I will uh, map the uh, RTL code for this. Okay. So, the little modification is like this. Let me make it here. This is what our B, this is what our A. Okay. I am just connecting this A to this line and B to this B line. So, this is what our B and this is what our A. Okay. And uh, if you just connected a NOT gate over here for this C, okay, this is what the C bar. Okay. So, here we will get C bar. Here also if you connected a NOT gate, then here you will get a C bar. Okay. This is what in full diagram, how you can implement a full adder using uh, 2 cross 1 multiplexer. So, this upper part will give you a sum logic which, which is nothing but AX or BX or C and this below part, here you will get a carry uh, expression which is nothing but AB plus AC plus BC. Okay. So, uh, we will proceed for RTL, how you can write a RTL for this. Okay. So, I have taken a system Verilog HDL. You can take any HDL. You can take Verilog here. It doesn't matter. The important thing is to understand the logic, how you are implementing that. So, I will explain you that logic. You can use Verilog for this. Okay. So, we'll map this diagram. This diagram will map for some. Okay. So, please pay attention for this. So, if you see here, <coughs> if you see here, this sum logic. Okay. So, what I did, I have taken a sign statement, a sign sum. So, this is, okay, sum is equal to, this is what A. Okay, this capital A, I have taken a small A over here. This A, if it is 1, question mark means it is in a ternary operator. Okay, so if it is 1, if it is 1, then proceed for this B. Then within parenthesis, it is proceeding for B. If you see here, if B is equal to 1, then C. If B is equal to 0, then C bar. Okay. So, you can see here. B is equal to 1, then C. Else, C bar. Similarly, if A is equal to 0, meaning this colon, if this A is equal to 0, then proceed for this multiplexer. And where we have to check B. If B is equal to 1, then C bar. If V is equal to 0, then C. So, you can see, you can map over here. If V is equal to 1, if V is equal to 1, then C bar. Else, meaning, if V is equal to 0, then C. Very simple. Okay. Similarly, we will map a carry expression. So, if you see over here, carry, this C, is equal to, first we will check A. Okay. So, if this a is equal to 1, then we are going for this multiplexer which is 
below in this diagram so if it is 1 then assign 1 okay so see if it is 1 question mark tick 1 if it is 0 then C meaning colon C if this A is equal to 0 then the upward um, you know this multiplex which is there in the upward direction here we'll check if B is equal to 1 then C if B is equal to 0 then 0 so you can see B is equal to 1 question mark meaning 1 then C else 0 meaning 0 for this B is equal to 0 then take this 0 this is what a simple mapping of this sum and carry expression from this diagram and we will um, see this with the help of simulation whether uh, our RTL is uh, producing a proper output or not we will see with the help of simulation and this is what a simple test bench I have written okay so this is what in design dot instantiation name of that RTL DUT you can give any name here and within parenthesis dot star is enough for instantiating our RTL with the test image in system in Verilog you have to give that uh, the port list over here using name base or order base okay but in system Verilog dot star is enough for instantiating our dot here okay within initial begin block what I am doing I am just generating a stimulus and applying this stimulus to inputs a b c okay and here in another initial uh, I am just taking dollar monitor which is just printing the values of inputs and outputs or inputs and output okay. and after doing a synthesis if you want to see the schematic view of your RTL you will find the same schematic view which we have already described here okay so after doing a synthesis of this uh, in Costa Sim you will see the schematic view over here I will put a link of um, how to see the schematic view in the description so that you can see and you can see the schematic view in the Costa Sim and I'll put the uh, description video uh, in the description the link for this video how to implement full adder and full subtractor using two cross one multiples okay this is what an RTL simple RTL which we have just mapped with our uh, design okay and this is what a simple test bench for verifying whether the design is working properly let me go to the Costa sim here the same code I have written <coughs> okay this is what an RTL code and this is what a simple test bench for this I have taken a system very log you can take very log for this and you can play with this code now I want to do a simulation I hope you know the truth table for full ladder okay if you see here <coughs> you'll find sum is equal to what we want 1 2 4 7 this is what a shortcut you know some expression will give you the summation m which is sop 1247 and carry expression will give you summation of n 3567 so we'll verify whether we are getting this sum and carry as expected or not okay so for verifying uh, for for doing a simulation a simple one line command in costa sim is q very log the file name in which the rtl and test bench is written so query log rtl.sv rtl.sv is my file in which I have written code okay. give the enter it will take few moments to generate the output and um, in this video you can uh, in this uh, window you can see the result for your simulation so this is what an in inputs 0 to 7 what we want sum is equal to 1 2 4 and 7 okay see here 1 2 4 7 and carry is equal to 3 5 6 7 so this 3 okay you can verify from here also so this 1 and 2 is equal to 3 okay 5 this 1 and this 4 5 
6 and 7 okay. you can verify this is what a simple simulation result okay so we just mapped our code with this diagram and we see the simulation result so this is what how you can write a simple code for full header which is implemented using two cross one multiplex that is one of the most frequently asked interview question so with this i hope you have understood the concept how you can write an rtl and the video link i will put in the description so that you can understand how you can uh, implement a full header and full subtractor using two cross one multiplexer with the help of this shortcut trick okay so and this is what the schematic view i'll put the schematic view video in the description so you can see how you can see the schematic view in the poster so with this i hope you have understood the entire concept how to write a simple rtl and uh, verify that rtl whether it is behaving as expected or not so thanks for watching this video thank you